Hey, little kitty. I understand you have strong stomach acid, but please go easy on it. Why? Well, to know that, we must know the role our stomach acid plays in our body by answering an acidic question. What if your stomach acid disappeared? Zoom in! Acids can be as powerful as a superhero's strength. With the ability to dissolve even the toughest of enemies like stubborn stones, rigid glass and the strongest metals. That's why we must keep our distance from them to avoid any unwanted disasters. But guess what? Our own stomachs have a powerful acid, also called gastric acid, that is essential for our survival. How? Well, to know that, first we need to understand how our digestive system works. You see, as soon as you take a bite of food, your salivary glands start producing saliva, which mixes with the food and converts it into a small mass called a bolus. Once the bolus is swallowed, it travels down the esophagus and into the stomach where it gets mixed with powerful stomach acid composed of hydrochloric acid and various digestive enzymes. I know what you are thinking. If this acid is so strong, then why doesn't it harm our own stomachs? Well, that's because our stomach has a protective layer of epithelial cells that shield it from the eroding effects of gastric acid. So, let's not worry about it for now and see what happens when this piece of food gets mixed with the stomach juices. Well, once the bolus is in, our stomach acid begins to kill the bacteria attached to it. Then it initiates a process called proteolysis to break down proteins into smaller polypeptides. After this, it activates pepsin, which is an enzyme that assists in protein digestion. And finally, it triggers a chemical signal that helps move the food from the stomach into the small intestine, from where it goes into your large intestine before you poop it out. So, as we saw, in the entire digestive system, our stomach acid plays a crucial role in it, which means if it goes away, there will be nothing but complete chaos in our tummies. Yes, without digestive juices, the food you eat wouldn't be broken down properly and would just sit in your stomach, making you feel full and bloated, because of which you might even experience nausea or vomiting. Not only that, this will give the bacteria a chance to thrive, which could lead to a nasty infection and a weaker immune system. At the same time, as your body won't be able to absorb the proteins and other nutrients, your immune system wouldn't be able to recover to fight off these invaders, leaving you vulnerable to getting sick with complications like malnourishment, tummy gas problems, heartburn, gastrointestinal infections, and ultimately neurological issues. So, you'll have no choice but to depend only on a liquid diet, supplements, and other medicines to survive. But here is an important thing, my friend. Though your stomach acid won't disappear, it can surely reduce in quantity due to a condition called hypochloridria, which is an illness where your stomach doesn't produce enough stomach acid. It can be caused by a variety of factors such as age, stress, poor diet, certain medical conditions, and certain medications. Therefore, it's important to take care of your digestive system by eating a healthy diet, staying hydrated 
and getting enough exercise to help keep your stomach acid levels in check and prevent problems from occurring in the first place. Trivia time! Did you know our stomach can produce up to 3 to 4 liters of acid per day? Also, the pH of gastric acid in humans typically ranges between 1.5 to 2.0, which is highly acidic. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to 8-year-old Zuheb Zahir. Hope you learned something crucial today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Never mind.